Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Honcho back at you again with another video. Now, I think it's safe to say that 2020 is definitely the age of social media and it's been like that for the past 10 years at least and for the foreseeable future, it's definitely going to have a bigger influence in all of our lives. Now, as the majority of you will know, there's a lot of people out there that live for social media and they pretty much post everything about themselves online. Maybe they've been on holiday, brought some new clothes or maybe even gone for a night out with friends but we've also seen the rise of a little something called self snitching yes a phenomena in where criminals record themselves committing crimes or showing that they've had evidence that links them to a crime all in the name of clout so this next story we're about to get into follows a group of burglars who pretty much gave their first-hand testimony into crimes that they were committing all because they had you guessed it recorded themselves on their mobile phones Quarter, we'll see. Well, you just gone past the Yarrow Shore? No, I'm out, y'all. Yeah. Like Bro, it sounds like a spaceship. It is a spaceship. TV, taking your PlayStation, I'm taking your kid's birthday present, I'm taking everything you've got there. They look like car keys to me. Yeah. Well, oh, plethora. Uh, In May of this year, two men, that being 18-year-old Jake Ward and 23-year-old Ricky Cox, alongside three teenagers, two 16-year-olds and a 17-year-old, were all arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit burglary after it was thought that they had committed burglaries between December 2019 and April 2020 across Leicestershire, which included areas Oadby, Wigston, Market Harbour, Burstall, Knighton, Braunston Town, Ayers Monsell, Saffron Lane, Leicester Forest East, and Stonygate. After an operation was set up by Leicestershire Police, they managed to pinpoint 24 burglaries that took place between November of 2019 and April of this year rather than December to April like it was first reported. Because this series of burglaries were very similar in nature, the police put the dots together and came to the conclusion that although these burglaries were happening across Leicestershire in different areas, they thought it had to have been done by the same gang, although up until the start of May, they had no idea on who was committing these offences. Then, on May the 4th, 2020, police were called to a burglary in progress on Davenport Avenue in Oadby. When officers arrived, they apprehended two 16-year-old boys, and at some point later that same day, after police executed warrants to gain entry to their homes, they would go on to arrest the 17-year-old and would also go on to arrest 18-year-old Jake Ward. A mobile phone seized by Jake Ward was examined, and it was here that a number of videos and images were found which identified cars that had been stolen during some of the incidents that were involved in the operation that the police had set up. The following day, on May the 5th, 2020, 23-year-old Ricky Cox would also go on to be arrested after a warrant was executed at his home address. As we've just said before, all would go on to be charged for their involvement, and it was thought that all areas previously spoken about were confirmed to have been areas in which these burglaries had happened. One of the 16-year-olds appeared at a youth court hearing in June of this year where he pleaded guilty to the offence and was given a referral order in order to pay compensation and costs to the victims. It was also heard that the other four involved had all pleaded guilty at earlier court hearings. On the 14th of August 2020, Cox and Ward would appear for a court hearing and Daniel Bishop prosecuting said that the burglaries all fitted a similar pattern. He went on to say, sometimes more than one car was taken in a single burglary requiring at least two members of the team to be present and sometimes more than one property was burgled in a single night. The quote-unquote common thread linking most of the offences was Ward who was connected to 24 of the burglaries and on whose phone some of the break-ins including entering properties were filmed. The prosecution would go on to say Ward would also record himself and his
his accomplices enjoying the spoils of their crimes by driving around in vehicles they had just stolen. Cox was said to be less involved and accepted taking part in three break-ins, handling a stolen vehicle and allowing himself to be carried in another. The prosecution would go on to say it was not possible to say in all instances who entered an address or who was a lookout and some not present at the scene were on occasions lending support via text message. He added, after the vehicles were stolen it's clear many were sold on for a fraction of their true value. It was heard that a £40,000 Land Rover Discovery taken from a Wigston address was offered for sale for just £600 but it was recovered because it was fitted with a tracker and a wide range of vehicle types were stolen including a Mazda MX-5, three Audis, two Mercedes, one of which was worth £43,000, two BMWs from the same house when a diamond engagement ring was also taken and a Peugeot Sport that was written off. On top of this, two motorbikes were also taken. The nail in the coffin the prosecution said which had them banged to rights was indeed the fact that when Ward's mobile phone was examined, it was found to contain incriminating text messages and of course footage linking him to the crimes. Judge Robert Brown told the defendant, I hope you both listen well to the summary of victim personal statements statements of those whose homes were burgled by you. Victims were asleep in their beds only to discover in the morning they'd been burgled, sometimes because they'd left a window open or a door unlocked and some patio doors were forced open. A lot of distress was caused and children were too scared to sleep properly at night. Some victims said they no longer thought of their homes as a safe haven, adding more than £300,000 worth of cars were taken in what's been described as a campaign of criminality. After accepting mitigation that no residents were confronted or assaulted and that both defendants had difficulties during their childhoods, he would go on to sentence Cox to four years in prison for conspiracy to commit burglary, and Ward was sentenced to five years in prison for conspiracy to commit burglary, and a further 18 months in prison for an unrelated burglary, and that sentence was to run concurrently. Now, it should be noted that in this hearing, it was also heard that although, yes, Cox wasn't as involved as Ward in these recent string of burglaries, he had 28 previous offences in relation to burglaries. Detective Inspector Henry Henderson who led the investigation said this is a great result and a testament to the hard work that has gone into securing these convictions. The three neighbourhood policing areas affected by this series of offences merged their resources together and identified links between each incident. The burglary in progress on the 4th of May 2020 resulted in officers from across the force being deployed including the traffic unit, dog unit and the national air support unit and led to the two 16 year old boys being arrested. These types of offences have a massive impact on our local communities and we'd like to reassure people that we do take vehicle crime extremely seriously and will prosecute those involved. This was a complex investigation and due to the investigating officer's diligence and attention to detail in securing the evidence, the defendants had no choice but to plead guilty. The other two teenagers involved in this incident are due to be sentenced at a later date. So this is pretty much self-snitching at its finest and it just goes to show you that even though these guys had previous criminal history in relation to burglaries, it wasn't even on the police's radar until the evidence on the the phone was put forward. I remember Hamworth Warrior, he doesn't do YouTube anymore but in some of his videos these young people would just go out and record themselves stealing bikes and cars and it's literally all in the name of clout. It's a very weird world that we're living in today but again that is the social media era that we're living in now where people get sent to jail just because they want social acceptance. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below, give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Spinny Boy 8 Poncho, and I'm out.